Hey guys, before I start the drama saga, I'm gonna do a little bit of a reaction here. Now, hope to God that the King of Mukbang or Meat Canyon does not copyright me. Because I swear to God, if he does, then we're gonna have a little bit of an issue here and there. Hopefully the audio is good for you guys. So either way, let's do this. Let's see if Nikikawa Avocado sees my reaction to this. Ooh, doesn't this look good? Oh, it got on my shirt. Ah! Oh my gosh, I'm out of food. No, you're not. I'm just gonna play with this. Sure. Actually, no. Ooh, look at this though. Mm, that's tasty. No, it's not. You're just I being know. ass. Oh, you trolls come to my channel and tell me to eat healthy food, but then if I eat healthy food, no one watches the video. No so one cares, I'm Nick. Do Can you I'm just shut done, up? And I'm gonna eat these spicy tacos. Wow. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back tomorrow to eat more Taco Bell and Takis. No, you won't. You literally are literally a fat... Look at that. His entire body looks like a fucking turtleneck. It literally does. I am not fucking lying to you. Wow. That really looks precious. We need to retake this photo. Wait, Wait which what? one? The one where we went to Florida a couple years back. Uh, it was such a nice time. You were literally this big, Nick. I don't know what to tell you. My eyes are, my eyes are watering now because of you. Hey, I see the avocado. Can we get more cheese at the store? I need it for a video. Gonna try and record two more today. I want to see him drink sweets. I we'll actually want to see him drink all the donuts. At. Not Who drink knows? all the donuts. Maybe we can Eat even get matching G wagons. <laughs> this was like years ago, but I don't really care. Wow, what's happening? Oh, uh, uh. Literally, this is just crazy. No, 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 no. Yeah, literally, I know what he said What's when he that? reacted to this. He said, why is everything, why is everything I'm touching going down? Literally, then like, the guy says, because you're a big, big greasy hog. Look at this. This is real life. I believe it. This is real life. Wow, look at that. That is just unique. <gasps> oh god. Don't touch me! No! Wait! Oh wait, no, never mind. No, that's not right. no, 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 no. I, I was just messing around. No, Arlen, no! Orlin sucks, no one cares about him. Stop crying, you fake ass piece of shit. You literally don't even need to exist. You literally just look like a goddamn fatso. Literally made out of Kermit the Frog's penis. Am I allowed to say it on YouTube? I hope I'm not. I'm gonna have to censor that out. Look at that. It's a wasteland. A wasteland full of degenerates. Look at his face there. Jesus Christ. He, he literally looks like a potato made out of carbon dioxide poisoning. It literally looks like it. I don't know what to tell you. Wait, is that gonna melt too? Yep, I knew it. Everything he touches literally is destroyed. But hey, I guess he's the Lord of Flies, I guess. That probably will grow back into flies. I'm pretty sure it all happened. Yep, keep eating. Keep eating, you fat so no one no one cares about you. No one literally cares. Anyways, that's my final reaction here, guys. So we're gonna go on to the um thingamabob there. The drama. So, uh, yeah. Stay tuned for that. <sighs> now we got that out of the way, let's start. Act 1, the beginning. Nicholas Borgato, also known as Nikocado Avocado, is a mukbanger and a king of it. He also has a husband named Orlin, but in front of the camera and behind the scenes, there's something bad. Something that no one sees. Nick was 155 pounds before he started his mukbang. He was also in Glee at one point, but that doesn't matter to anyone at this point. He met Orlin in the mid-2000s in Colombia. They started dating for a while now, and they were very close. Nick started his first mukbang in 2016, meaning that he never tried it, but he wanted to happen to bad anyway. He made more mukbang videos, but he had a problem with the vegan community. He said that he wanted to be gone from that community and start his mukbangs. For a while later on, he gained 205 pounds. Later in 2017, he has started to make a horrible relationship with Orlin. They fight, bigger, argue, and more. But that didn't stop Nick's fans. 
It was there that Nick had finally lost himself. He gained 300 pounds in 2018. There, Orlin doesn't want to be with Nick anymore, so he broke up with him forever because he abused him, raped him, and cheated on him multiple times. He wanted Nick out of his house for five years. But just imagine, what would Nick do on the streets if Orlin kicked him out? Just let this sink in your brain for a minute. Okay, so Orlin made his channel called Orlin is Home. In it, he does mukbangs, but with fruit, and he complains about Nick, and some people hated Orlin for doing this. Fans among a cult. His friend Nancy called the cops because he harassed her for engaging in sex. Nick had a bad reputation on his side and got himself bailed out of jail. He continued to do more mukbangs, and Nancy had finally had enough with Nick. So she called Orlin about this, and she wanted to have sex with him he said yes and they made a sex tape together i'm not going to show the sex tape but it's on pornhub so yeah you can watch it for yourself anyway nick got a message from orlin saying that he made a sex tape between nancy and orlin nick was furious and he beat the hell out of orlin with his fist the only way for nick to stop fighting orlin was if they agreed on an only fans and so they did nick Akato making his only fans and everyone saw it. It was a nightmare to many, and no one liked it. They think it's the it's too pornographic, and it made the company lose all the money. They had no one wanted to see man sex. That's just nasty. But there's something you need to know about this. One now, let's compare him to Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan was amazing in the mic. He did all the best pro wrestlings ever. He made it to the WWE, and his career was skyrocketed. But when he said the N-word on accident, everyone hated him. Now he retired from the WWE and will never come back again. If only he stayed on there more, he would have been a legend. Now how does he relate to Nick? Well, they both are good at something. They both have big fans, and they both are drama people, and started to lose it. Now Nick is gay, but Hulk is not gay. Take that shit somewhere else, please. Act 3, no more animation. Nick has reacted to the King of Mukbang. You already know how I feel about it. So, yeah. I'm not going to highlight it here. Just go back in the three minute mark. Alright guys. Anyways, Nick was upset at this. But the video was not taken down. It's still up to this day. And if you want to watch it on me Canyon's channel for it. Alright guys. Now, Nick has been very upset over the past few years of animation. See, there were a lot of animators on board to do good animations. Hayao Miyazaki and Playmore. But there were knockoff animators who just make fun of popular people on the internet by making animations of them. And Nick is one of those people. Here. Nick Anime is a YouTuber who had his channel deleted in 2019 because of Nick. He made some funny Nick Akato animations of his weight, his anger, and his ass. Now, if I told Brandon Rogers about animation, he would say, hell of a boss, which I have hell of a boss pins right now, to be fair. It's on my jacket, so, yeah. Okay, clarify this. I only have the Luna and Blitzo one. I don't have Moxie and Millie yet, so take that with a grain of salt. All right, guys? Anyways, Nick has now cyberbullied Nick Anime for four years. He started his animations in 2016, where Nick was 155 pounds, and now he gained 2k subs in a week in 2018. In 2019 anime, he has reached 9 million subs over his Nick animations. They had 300k views, 290k views, and 1.50k views. His real name is Chadwick Bozeman, a friend to Zack Snyder. Nick Akato criticized Chadwick for his animations, and now he died a few years ago. And now, Act 4. Oompa Loompa Dooba Dee Doo. I got another puzzle for you. Oompa Loompa Dooba Dee Dee. If you are wise, you will listen to me. Oompaville made 12 videos on Nick Akato Avocado explaining about his weight. Now he roasts the shit out of Nick, and it was funny as fuck. There were a lot of people telling Oompaville to do a cameo in Nick's videos. And guess what? It happened. Oompaville went through some hell to get him 
for the sake of the videos. After years and years, he finally did it. He got Nick to get to Texas, and the video was titled, It's Your Fault. And the video was insane. People liked it, and no one left death threats towards Nick or Upaville, and it's one of the most hottest videos of all time. Nick and Upaville would do other videos like mukbangs and TikToks. Most of the time when Nick did a comeback, it was crazy. The title said, it's my fault. And that video also was a greater video than the last one. Hitting over millions of views. I think people love Upaville was because of Nick Akado of Akado, but that's just a theory. We'll talk about in a separate channel here. Anyway, Nick went back to Florida doing his job as a mukbanger. Act 5, the final battle. Nick has been rage quitting for three months, and over that time, he was in hot water with the beauty YouTuber Shane Dawson. Nick Akata was not happy, and he told his fans to manipulate the hell out of Shane. This was bad on his part, because Shane knew what was coming and told YouTube Policy to cancel his uploading on YouTube. His site can still be seen by other people, but his main channel, he can't post anything on there anymore. Now he can only has a couple of channels that he can still upload. You could say that Shane is George Washington and Nick it was Hitler. And you will be right. Nick is the most evil person in the world and nobody is stopping him. Hell, not even Trisha could do anything. She turned Nick into a monster for God's sake. She was the one who did this. And turn him into a monster. Nick also slanderized Jesse and Logan for the sake of them gaining more views on YouTube than Act 6. Where are you now? Well, we talked a lot of history of Nick, and now he became a legend, but a monster too. Now, if you managed to find this symbol, that means you completely found a clue. Please make sure to put all the clues together and see who I really am and what my master plan is. I'm Celeste, the mere X-Men.